Hello students, today we will discuss Fermi level and Fermi energy. I am Dr. S. Vipalle, Department of Physics, Georgia College, Kannur District, Oranavan. So, students, see this diagram. Here, electron energy is given in the direction, and uh, this is for metal, and this is for semiconductor, this is for insulator. For metal, valence band and conduction band. Valence band is shown by this orange color. Conduction band is shown by this blue color. So, valence band and conduction band overlap in case of metal. In case of semiconductor, this valence band and conduction band, there is a gap. In case of insulator, the band gap is large as compared to these two others. So, students, what is Fermi level? Fermi level is highest occupied molecular orbital in the valence band at 0 degree Kelvin temperature. Here, this conduction band and valence band overlap. There are many states available to accept electrons in case of metals. But in case of semiconductor and insulator, the bands are separated. Now, what is Fermi energy? It is the highest occupied level at absolute zero. It is the energy level with 50% of chance being occupied at finite temperature T. And it is denoted by EF. Now, we will see occupation index. Occupation index means extent to which, up to which the states are filled by particles, by electrons. So, Fe is given by Ne upon G is equal to 0 for capital E greater than capital T F Fermi energy. Fe is equal to Ne upon G is equal to 1 for E less than equal to EF. This is Fermi energy. So, for values of E less than equal to EF at temperature T is equal to 0 Kelvin, Assuming alpha is equal to minus A upon KT. Occupation index is given by N A upon G is equal to 1 upon E raise to minus E F upon KT into E raise to E upon KT plus 1. So, is equal to 1 upon E raise to minus infinity. So, E minus E F upon KT. E is less than or equal to E of. So, it is negative term upon this T 0 Kelvin. So it gives e raised to minus infinity plus one. So e raised to minus infinity, this 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 will give us zero. So one upon one approximately equal to one. So each energy state is occupied by single electron. For values of e greater than e of and t is equal to zero Kelvin, assuming alpha is equal to minus e upon kt, e f upon kt minus one. So occupation index is equal to n e upon g is equal to 1 upon e raised to e minus e f upon k t plus 1. As this e is greater than e f, this is positive term upon this 0 means positive infinity. So, e raised to infinity plus 1. So, 1 upon e raised to infinity plus 1 gives us approximately equal to 0. Because this infinity e to infinity plus one is infinity. One of our infinity is zero. So all energy states are empty. Now NAD is equal to distribution of this energy is given by among the particles, NAD is equal to 8 pi V into 2 m raised to cube raised to 1 half upon H cube upon e raised to alpha e raised to e upon kt plus 1 into e raised to half D. So it is equal to 8 root 2 pi V upon H cube into m raised to 3 by 2 e raised to half d upon e raised to alpha e raised to e upon kt plus 1. So, n d is equal to 8 root 2 pi v upon h cube into m raised to 3 by 2 into e raised to half d upon e raised to e minus e upon kt plus 1. This is final expression for Fermi direct law of energy distribution of free electrons in metal. Now, we will discuss this. At t is equal to 0 Kelvin, 
it represent highest energy level at this temperature in which all quantum states are occupied a piece a function c in this graph here if value is 1 at t is equal to 0 kelvin up to ef 0 this ef function value is 1 but at ef 0 it becomes suddenly to it goes suddenly to zero so it is a function at t greater than 0 kelvin at e is equal to e of fe occupation index is 1 upon e raised to 0 upon kt plus 1 1 upon e raised to 0 this is going to be to 0 plus 1 1 upon e raised to 0 is 1 1 so plus 1 So one upon one plus one is one half. So fifty percent of quantum states are occupied, and fifty percent are empty. References I have used for this PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.